It is not the first time that the Catholic Church is wading into the sensitive matter of vaccination campaigns. The first instance was when the church raised concern about the tetanus vaccine. All the tests showed that the vaccine used in Kenya in March and October 2014 was indeed laced. And now the Catholic Church claims that the 6 million polio vaccines brought in by the World Health Organization and UNICEF are not safe for administering to children. The church is raising safety fears about the vaccine and wants joint testing done. We, the Catholic bishops in Kenya, are asking all Kenyans not to participate in this exercise until such a time that the manufacturer's directory documents have been produced. Please, now that there is the experience that we happened with the uh, tetanus, let us not just take it for granted. The Ministry of Health has, however, dismissed those suspicions, cautioning the Catholic Church against spreading fear in the country, considering that several polio cases resurfaced in the country at refugee camps after Kenya had been declared polio-free for decades. We do not want to reverse the gains. Kenya, as a result of that importation of polio, now is being grouped with the countries like Afghanistan, uh, Pakistan, which had previously been uh, endemic in terms of polio. We do not want to reverse the gains. We would like to request all Kenyans and all stakeholders who are not medical experts not to get into this area because the lives of Kenyans are at risk. Alluding to several meetings with the Ministry of Health, the church claims it entered into an agreement with the ministry to have joint sampling and testing of the vaccine, which they claim the ministry has not undertaken. But the ministry has a different take on the matter. Polio vaccine brought by two main groups, World Health Organization and UNICEF, used in other countries have been found to be contaminated. The same group, World Health Organization and UNICEF, are the same people bringing them here. We are very, very concerned when we have respectable stakeholders releasing issues about stopping polio campaign. The Ministry of Health maintains the polio vaccination slated for this weekend is on. <laughs> The accusations are the latest in a series of anti-vaccination campaigns. Late last year, the Catholic Church claimed that the then tetanus vaccination was a disguised birth control strategy targeting sexually active women, prompting testing of the vaccine where only three out of 59 vials tested positive for beta HCG, a hormone that causes infertility in women. According to the ministry prior to testing, the three vials presented by the church had been contaminated. Esther Kahumbi, The Big Question.